you guys doing today? So the other day I was thinking that I wanted to make a video on making a lure because we all we all want to make our lures different uh, in, in any, any and every way you know stand out from someone else's lure slight tweaks I mean you could play with one lure a <clears throat> hundred times over to just change it and I wanted to do something that was far-fetched out of the box blow somebody's mind you see at the boat launch and so that's what today's video is about I came up with this idea the other day and it was just something that hit me and I was like I don't think anybody has tried this and I really want to try it and it's it's kind of far-fetched like I said but it's it's gonna be funny and fun and there's a good chance it's gonna be very productive and yeah so anyways today's video is gonna be on I've already got it assembled but I'm gonna go through my process that I went through to assemble it and how I got to where I did so this is the seven inch dildo it had a suction cup on the rear and I took a wire cut it and I fed it through the tip came down about three inches poked it through made a loop pulled it up tight came back over to this end made a loop wrapped it around tight and put a swivel on it <clears throat> and this it, it had a, the suction cup on it before and I took it out back and made a few casts and it just spun just spun 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 my line was getting all twisted not what I wanted so I came back up here I took a knife and I slice the suction cup off off behind the nuts here and then I decided to run another through wire between the nuts from the back to the in between the nuts and the front one is where I put my middle hook or back hook and then I ran a blade a willow blade with a swivel off the rear and it's basically a swim bait now or blade bait depending on what you want to call it and it's I had it was I figured I'd either do a blade bait a swim bait or a crank bait but this this bait here very flexible and I didn't there was no way I could put a lip in it right here by the head so swim uh, crank sorry crank bait was out <clears throat> and I knew that it spun so if I put a blade up here and turned it into a, an inline spinner that was a possibility but I wanted to do this streamline I wanted to make a swim bait out of it <clears throat> so this is what we did and then we're gonna take it up make some casts and see how she looks and go from there So here we are at the dock. Let's, let's get this thing set up here. One thing I gotta be careful of is this rear hook. Is I could downsize so it doesn't catch on the blade, which I might have to. But I wanted to make sure it got out far enough for a hookup. So she sinks pretty good. Toss her out and see what we got here. Nice blade action. If you can see it, but it's got a really nice wobble too. Unlike a lot of lures, it's got an up and down wobble instead of a side to side. That could be a good trigger with the blade in the back. We'll give her a cast, see what happens. See, so you can hump the surface. It's got a nice humping action. That blade really gets going. 
Nice humping in the water. Perfect. This lure could be really good for figure eights. Gonna have to try it out for some musky action. What'd you guys think of that? That was uh, that was pretty awesome. One of some cool, cool moves. Um, I really liked the up and down humping action. It it swam, unlike most lures that go side to side. This goes up and down, which could be a good trigger. Uh, I really want to use it. <clears throat> Throw up musky fishing. And the blade on the back, really. I mean, you got that thing thumping. It's it's definitely a good attractor. So another thing I wanted to say was that this is the seven inch model. You know, obviously they've got a million different size dildos, but this is the seven inch model. I almost grabbed the four inch, but wasn't quite big enough for my taste. And I weighed it. This thing weighs nine ounces. So if you're gonna run, if you're gonna run this. You're gonna want a heavy rod. I was throwing my musky rod, which handle it well and it it it's dense it sinks fast but it swims up and rides and through the water very nicely if I were to make any changes to this lure I would put I would downsize this hook to maybe this size or just a little smaller just so that this doesn't swing up and catch on it which is possible and I would also take a heel weight which I have one well I had one right here <clears throat> I would take a keel weight and I would put it probably on the back here so I, you don't lose the action from the front the up and down humping thumping action <clears throat> but that way it, keel weight will keep it centered in the water and it'll run tr more true but I also like the more uh not erratic, but unnatural movement. <clears throat> so that's that. So now, now I'm gonna take it out fishing. Hopefully this weekend she'll be uh, on the water and I can get some fish for the next video. So leave your comments. Uh, I'd like to see what the sale of this thing turns out. Thank you.